Here is how to use Lambda functions, aka anonymous functions in Python. So let's take an example here. I am going to create a function called get square and I'll pass n to it and I'll just return n to the power 2. Okay, and if I take print statement here and call this function get square and if I pass 5, we get 25 as our output, which is correct. So let's say you are using this function only once and you are not using this function anywhere else. So in that case, what you can do is you have another alternative choice. That is, you can use something called Lambda functions, also known as anonymous functions. So let's see how we can use Lambda functions. So what we can do is we can remove this DEF keyword. Instead of that, we can do Lambda and we can also remove this function name and we'll just keep the variable n and we could also remove this. We can also remove this return statement and we can just do colon and whatever operation we want to perform on this variable. So n, I want to square it. I can do n to the power 2. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll just do f equals that and and if I run this, we get the output as 25. Okay, so same thing. But normally you would not use lambda functions like this. You would use in you would use lambda functions in combination with map filter reduce uh, functions. I have already made a video on these topics. You can go check them out. So let's see how we can use uh, lambda functions with map function. So let's say I want to square the numbers from a list. So what I will do is I'll take a map function and I'll pass the first argument. Uh, the map function accepts is the function itself. So I'm passing anonymous function, which is lambda, uh, which squares the number. And second argument it takes is the iterable. So I'll pass list. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll close this and I'll just remove this print and I'll just try to print this map function. So if I run this, we get map object at some random location. Okay, so in order for us to see the output properly, what we can do is we can convert this map object into list. So I'll just do that. So list of map of of anonymous function and uh, iterable. And if I run this, we get the output as 1491625. Okay, so you can pass as many uh, parameters as you want here. So I'll just do x comma y and I will also do x plus y. And now the second argument will be x and we should also pass another um, list uh, for y so I'll do um, something like 6 7 8 9 and 10 and if I run this we get the output as 7 9 11 13 15 so 1 plus it is doing 1 plus 6 2 plus 7 8 plus sorry 3 plus 8 like that so yeah that's about it this is how you use anonymous functions in Python I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe for more